Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's scorching hot here in Denmark it's I think we were gonna get about 30 degrees which is really unnormal for us here so I have uh, been in the garden here and I have my hammock I'm very proud of this this is my very first hammock and um, I was in that I think four hours yesterday I was just enjoying that I have just put it up to to show that it's I had it down during the night but oh, you can you can really relax there in the shadow and I have the solar shade thing here but that's not what this video is about I had a problem here the weather has been so good so we had a thunderstorm come in uh, and that just happened to to trigger my HPFI grounding uh, emergency power thing so power was cut to the house not the data center actually the house uh, which resulted in that the refrigerator shut off so I had a lot of water in the freezer down here and the refrigerator and I had to throw out some stuff because it was well it wasn't frozen anymore and it wasn't cold anymore so I had to clean that up it's, uh, it's not a lot but that's not the worst of my problems the worst of my problems is that I have my solar collectors for making hot water this system down here I have shut that off right now because that didn't get power for uh, my best guess is three days and that means that I had some solar panels on the roof that got scorching hot up there which resulted in um, well I had some damage so we're gonna go up there and see that and I have just been out shopping to repair that I didn't I didn't uh, see that yesterday so I, um, I was gonna repair or make sure that it was okay today and I found that that was not the case so yeah oh there's a very good example of exactly that if you see over there I tried to put in some more water in the system or them and it's dripping out because the solar collectors became so hot that this thing it's an automatic air vent and the plastic in that just melted so I bought a new one <laughs> this one I actually bought two um, dealing with IT uh, it's always good to have a redundant solution so uh, I bought one this one is meant for solar it was a little bit more expensive then I have another one uh, this one it's not really meant for solar so I got this one which was 181 Danish crowns 0.6 the other one that is not really meant for solar was 147.2 and these were just 11 that's like two dollars each for these this one is about it's more like 30 dollars for this one and this one is 25 ish so okay i went down and got some teflon tape i had actually bought this because i ran out in another video and i thought i'm gonna need that again in, in the nearby future and well that that's now apparently so we're gonna teflon tape this apparently that's what how much i needed <clears throat> there I'm gonna tighten that really good uh, this was too small and this one uh, I needed some converters there good and tight so this one is good for 180 degrees C and 10 bars and yeah it has a bell thing up here and it's made in Italy I'm not sure if this is supposed to be tight or not tight. So if if the cap's not on and it's up straight, air comes through. So that's that's how it's supposed to be. So if I tighten this down, 
it does not. So apparently uh, I shouldn't tighten it. Cool. Not tight. Okay. You can see I've covered up the solar panels that is closest to the valve over here. Uh, I hope to prevent too much boiling water to come out over me. When I loosen this, I hope that, uh, well, that it isn't too dangerous. Okay, I made a mistake. Okay, it's clear to see that, um, well, this is half inch and this is three quarters, so I don't need this converter. Uh, and here is the problem. Uh, it has totally melted uh, the plastic and the water or the thing in there is just pissing out that way. So this one is, that's gone. Uh, this one uh, would do the job. I really want this one, so I'm gonna try and take this off again. I oh, just tightened it. Okay. Is that the same? That's the same di diameter. That's good. Okay, I'll give it some more Teflon tape and then we'll just fit that directly over there. I need to put in some fluids first, but well, that's gonna be fun. I have, of course, shut off the pump in the basement. I don't want it pumping, uh, burning water around in the system while I'm working on it, so. Oh, I usually put in coolant for cars in my system here. I don't have any of that because they don't sell that during the summer. So this is for cleaning your windshield and it goes down to minus 21 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna try with that. Okay, I have been putting in fluids and just gonna put this on and we're gonna go in down to the basement and use the pump for a little bit to try and pump this around and get some of the air out of the system. There's a lot of air in the system. So this thing, which is still hot, has been working fine for about five, six years. So not complaining, it did a good job. 10 bars, 110 degrees Celsius, so well, I was overdoing it. Go so back in the basement, I'm gonna turn this one on. There. So there is, again, power on the system. And it says sounds. It finds the temperature on top to be 42 degrees. And 20 in the tank. So we should see that the pump is running around. Um, I don't think there is much water in the system. It has kind of ruined that for me. So we can let out some air from the system. There is a, an air outtake here. We can hear that. And that wasn't too much. That lifts up there. So whatever the temperature does here, if it right now the temperature is rising, which means that we're getting some water through the system that is hotter. Yeah, let's see where this goes. Losing power also meant that all my six chargers um, had, well, they were probably completed. They had to have another go at all the, the batteries. I started that this morning. Uh, see, this one is not good, uh, has no power on it. The other ones seems um, okay. So all of these over here are good. So let's see. And the temperature is going up. Mm -hmm. 50 degrees. Ooh. Okay. I just want to run it for a little bit. Hopefully it will suck down the, the fluids to down here and leave the air up there so that I can put in some more water in the system. Been doing a little bit more. I have uh, I had it off and I went up there again and I removed the automatic air uh, things and I filled on some more fluids and I also lowered the pressure on this one and uh, right now it's running again. 
So should see the temperature go dramatically up if this is working. And hopefully go down again. We have only 20 degrees Celsius in the tank. Because this has been off for days. And 38 degrees on the panels. Which is in the shade right now because of the plastic that I put on top of it. So the that battery panel is not that hot. So I'm gonna let some more air out of the system. I have this little hose going down here. Yeah. There wasn't any air right there, or almost no air. And the temperature has gone up to 40 degrees. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, there was no power on this pump for those days. And when I came, the water level was quite high in the in the well here. And when power came back, I had the charger on the battery that is controlling this little emergency pump down here. And I could see that the charger up here, that one, uh, was pulling like six amps when power came back. I didn't really think about that. I thought that was weird. But now that I think of it, that's because that little emergency system has been running a lot. It has been uh, keeping the basement dry and uh, well, the little emergency system has been working. Awesome! But the temperature is rising over here, so I don't think we are there yet. Well, we are at 50 degrees again, so I'll have to go up there and, and put in some more water, I'm sure. Okay, I have been up there once more to put in even more water and turn it on again, so right now 87 degrees warm water is coming down there and that's just from the, oh, it's it's hot and I can feel the water coming uh, Around in the system now. So now I better not do anything before it uh, Cools down again, so we can see the, the temperature in the tank is still 20 degrees uh, But temperature is going up there. And we can also see that on the analog meters here they are a bit more slow to adjust but we are over 40 degrees here uh, 93 that's that's high 94 but it's uh, sure because the system has been overheated the the water has been boiling off over at the automatic air vent uh, but the water in the two panels before that my panels are in series up there, they're not parallel. I thought that I would get warmer water out of the, the panels if I put them in series. So that is what I did when I put them up. So the water in panel 1 and 2 can be very hot, where water in panel 3, which I have shaded, is probably not that hot. It's probably more like 30 degrees. The water will not increase temperature in that panel and it has probably it has to heat up that panel. So it looks like the temperature is dropping down again. And when it drops down to about uh, not so I would like to go down to about 50 degrees Celsius. Let's see if it does that. This temperature is still 20 degrees. So there is a lot of water in that tank for it to heat. So this might take a while. In the meanwhile, the temperature has gone up over 60 here now, but 86 down there. So dropping here, rising there. Uh, it's, it's because there up here there is a lot of metal that has to be heated up in this box. And uh, the sensor that we're looking at here, that's a little metal sensor that is mounted up at the solar panels. The electronic part is a lot faster at adjusting. Whereas this is a lot slower. Oh, I didn't catch that. I was busy uh, <laughs> doing batteries in the meanwhile. But the temperature dropped rapidly and is down to 40 degrees right now. So the water has uh, gone through with the system. And uh, let's see, the temperature has risen in the tank to, to 23 degrees Celsius. So I'll turn it off and go up and put on some more water. So I've just been up there uh, filling it up again. And every time I've been able to put in some more. So we're turning it on. Let's see it come on. 31 degrees up there. Let's see, pump. 
you can start. I removed the cover from the first panel, so this should heat up really nicely in no time. It's 25 degrees now in the tank. Uh, okay, it's not running right now, so 25. It's just need one more degrees difference, I guess, and it should be running. I did kind of put in a lot of fluids up there, so that's the fluid that is uh, being heated up right now. And when uh, when it's hot enough for the pump down here to start running, uh, there is a temperature difference. I thought it was four degrees. It must be f more than four degrees. Oh, sorry. I mean, I thought it was six degrees. Right now the temperature is 25 and that is 32, so maybe it's 8 degrees, I can't remember. Maximum 123 degrees, minimum, that's that's the temperature that it has seen. Yikes, it's, it's not good, it's not supposed to. There we are. Great sound effects and everything. We should see the temperature going up really fast. Yeah, and it does. So it's probably gonna go up to about 80 degrees. Maybe? I have no idea. It's gonna be interesting how close I hit that. How hot did the water get? while I was up there. 73, probably gonna go down again now. 74. Do we see 75? We see 75, 75, 75, 79 first, 79, blah, 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 blah. We're going down again, so the temperature is probably gonna drop rather rapidly again, because now it's cold water from the tank down here. That is going up. Okay, batteries ready to go. Um, in the meanwhile, it has uh, cooled down and it has heated up again. So right now, uh, 51 degrees Celsius is coming down uh, steadily. So that's really hot. And temperature in the tank is rising. Uh, when the temperature in the tank comes up really high, like 60 plus degrees, uh, it's gonna be harder and harder for the for the water to get warmer so it's not gonna do as much so that's um it, it it will slow down this is all good good temperatures um i have uh, lowered the pressure on this i wanted some uh, there is there is some water in this now um i wanted some water to go into that so when i increase the pressure in this again well some of the water will pressurize the system and uh, get additional air bubbles out of there so down here i have a compressor and i have one of these things to put on put air in your tires so i'm gonna use that um i didn't bring the i didn't bring the camera tripod down here that was stupid Oops. let's put that on there uh, let's just give it a little bit the bar would be okay perfectly fine okay so one of those things that I am actually able to do that is a bit hard to show is that I can see the system here and if I go over here to the stairs and look up I can see the automatic air thing up there so I can actually see if water is pissing out uh, up there but well it's not so everything is good I think I just need to be doing a bit of cleaning up so as mentioned these three panels are in series that means that over here in the bottom the cold water from the basement that comes from the tank comes in and then it goes up and then i transfer it down again to the second panel and it heats up in the second panel and it comes up and i bring it down again and it come oh, it comes up in the third panel and it goes uh, out this way 
and down into the basement and that's the hot line out of that. So cleaning up. Um, I emptied this. Uh, it wasn't full but I did and I put in some more. This was just regular water uh, so get rid of those. This one is just junk um, more or less. Actually it's only this thing that's not working but it seems to have some kind of a function. Uh, I think I should probably just throw this out. Yeah, probably. These was a mistake. I thought that we were dealing with three quarters of an inchy dinchy. And this one, that's my hot spare. My hot water system here, it works from about April until sometimes in October. In all of that period, uh, warm water is produced with the panels over here. And fixing them is just a bit of plumbing. Today's bill was, well, double as big as it needed to be because I bought some wrong stuff and I bought a redundant solution for the next time something goes wrong and if I have to replace this. The thing that took the most time was actually to go get this. So uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.